For level 2 precision, we're going to go ahead and measure out the distance from my feet to my head. You can always make adjustments if you need to though. Make sure you warm up your ankles with some bouncing on the balls of your feet and some high tuck jumps controlling the landing. With longer distances, you're not trying to jump straight forward. You want to jump in an arch up, over, and down. And it's good to test your jumping power off the first obstacle, but it's especially important to practice landing on the second obstacle. Unlike level one, we can't just reach one foot and step to the other side. And just going for it can be kind of daunting too. So one thing I like to do is line myself up to the side of the obstacles and practice the same jump off to the side and make sure the distance feels easy. If you take your time through those progressions, you'll be able to land the level two precision. Let's dive a little bit deeper though. On the takeoff, I'm sending my hips forward as I'm jumping upwards. I'm gonna lift my feet up and let those arms swing back. As my legs come up into a tuck, preparing to reach for the landing, I need to make sure I can spot that landing point. And as I'm dropping down, my hands are going to swing forward. Notice my alignment coming into the landing. I'm going to bend my knees to absorb the landing and bring my hands up to stabilize as I level my knees and my hips, keep my chest and shoulders over my feet, and keeping those arms out for counterbalance. Then I'll stand up when my balance has settled. Also notice how those arms extend behind me before I go into my jump, and right after I swing them straight forward, those hands come out to the side, bringing them behind me, and as I land, I bring them up for balance. And there's your level two precision. Enjoy, and thank you for moving with Mendoza.